So I just wanted to share something really raw. You know, um, when you try to get out of a narcissistic relationship and you realize like how damaged you are, and how hard it is. I was actually on Facebook. I've, I've been in bed like literally all day, but I was on Facebook. And uh, I got a friend request from someone from the church and I thought we were already friends. So somehow we weren't friends anymore, which was fine, but it was a female and I thought maybe she was uh, like hacked or something. So I clicked on the friend request, went to her profile. Emotional, damn it. Can we get some cheese for this wine? This weak crying stuff, getting on TikTok, acting like TikTok is your therapist and, you know, searching out all these women to feel sorry for you and all these tears and all of that, toughen up. I don't understand why you're so upset about a guy that was supposedly narcissist. Why do you even care? Why do you care that this guy is doing whatever he's doing? Because you still do. And the fact that you said he's a narcissist and all this means that you probably left him. Sounds like you're having some regret, but I could be wrong, so let's continue. And I popped a video of my husband on stage and uh, I guess the, they were celebrating like the new year or something at the church and there were a balloon drop or something like I don't follow any of them anymore I don't see any of their videos anymore I purposely try to not look at that stuff I blocked people that post things but I don't see it <laughs> but there he is on stage and he's like walking and they're about to do this balloon drop and I just see his face. Stop it. Get some help. It's so hard. You think that like you're over it. You think that you're like doing really good. Okay, so it sounds like she might be separated. I don't know if she's still calling the guy as her husband, even though it's her ex-husband or whatever. I don't, I don't really know. But again, it's like, if you're so over it, why are you so, why are you crying? And why are you so emotional? And why are you shocked by anything that you see? And I will say this to, to the ladies that's watching this video, all this crying and all this type of stuff, it, it's really annoying. You know what I'm saying? It's really annoying. Put on your big girl panties, toughen up and stop all this crying and jumping on Facebook for sympathy. It, it, it's not a good look. The only people that it's looking good to is women. Men are not going to appreciate that. And if you think that a man is going to be interested in you, if you're moving on with your life and you're trying to do your own thing, if you think that this is going to be attractive to him and you think that this type of attitude is going to be something that he looks forward to you're fooling yourself because if you can get on tiktok and do this just imagine what you're doing with the door closed with the person that you're with after a while it gets very 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 old and you're healing and you're moving on and you're so strong and you're making all this progress and then all the emotions come back and you're just like a mess you're like a mess again and it starts all over it's so hard stop it and it's so hard to see the person that you thought you were gonna spend the rest of your life with standing there walking and 
and then all the memories come flooding back. Why do you care? If the guy's a narcissist and all this stuff, why do you care? I don't think the guy was really a narcissist. I think that you probably just heard some things you didn't want to hear or you couldn't get your way and then you gave him that label. I don't understand how you can care so much about somebody that treated you badly, which is what it sounds like you're saying. And then you're sad and then you miss him so much, but then all the bad starts to come back. And then you start to remember everything that you've been through. And then you just take like 10 steps back. And so many of my videos talking about the things that happened to me as a way to like get them out and process them and heal. No, you're making these videos to get sympathy. You're not trying to process anything to heal because if you were, you wouldn't be acting like this. It just never ends. It just never ends. Ah! Just wait for the day when you can like move forward and not hurt so much. Obviously, I didn't accept the friend request because I can't see that kind of stuff. I can't do it. I can't do it. it I hurt so bad. Wait a minute. Didn't you just say that you accepted the friend request? That's how you seen the stuff on her page? Hmm. And I like could tell by the way he was walking that his feet are hurting, which is from all the alcohol. Okay, so now let's throw some more shade. Let's call him a, first you called him a narcissist. Now he's an alcoholic. But you're upset and crying uh, buckets of tears because you miss him and all of that, right? Uh, doesn't make any sense. And I just want to help him. I just want to like hug him. I just want to hold him. I just want to like be there for him. I can't. But why? He's a narcissist and he's an alcoholic. It sounds like you didn't get your way. Like I said a minute ago, you didn't get your way every single thing. You didn't get every single thing that you wanted. And then you put all these labels on him and called him a bad person. And you, and you probably left the relationship, but now you want to hug him because you miss him and you want to be there for him. It makes no sense. You see how these emotions are up and down there's no logical thinking in here at all. And this is the problem with a lot of women. Women typically don't know what the hell it is they want. It's from one second to the next. It hurts so bad. Letting go of a life that you thought you were gonna have. And trying to start over. It's so hard. And there it is the starting over part. See, she's probably went out there and tried to start over and she learned what time it is in the dating marketplace today. She learned what her value is in the dating marketplace today. She learned that she cannot duplicate what she had with her husband. Now, all of a sudden, she's having a lot of regret. That's what it sounds like to me. I'm having a really bad day today. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't understand why you couldn't get the help. I don't understand why you wouldn't change. I just having a really bad day. And I just guess I wanted to share this because anybody getting out of a narcissistic relationship or an abusive relationship or a relationship with an addict like you have your good days, you have your bad days. There's days that you are like smiling and laughing and feel like you're living your best life. And then there's days where you barely get out of bed. And I guess I just wanted to show that like, even though I'm sharing so much truth about what had happened to me, 
I still care. Like, I still, I don't hate any, it's just so hard. It's just so hard. No, you're sharing some truth. You're sharing the truth that you want people to believe. You have went in 50 million different directions with this video. He's narcissist. He's an alcoholic. He's with another woman, but you still want to be with him. I bet you that this woman is on some serious anti-depression uh, medication or something like that. Because it sounds like she made a decision that she can't live with. If somebody is so bad for you, and you've made the decision to cut away from that person, why are you constantly going back? The reason why she's having this regret and she's constantly going back is because of what I said a minute ago. Because she cannot replace him. She doesn't have the same value. She has baggage. And a lot of men don't want to deal with it. So what does she do? Now all of a sudden she misses him so much. Even though he's a narcissist and he's an alcoholic and he was in this video with some other woman. It makes no sense. Stop with the emotional roller coaster. Be honest with yourself, be real with yourself, and stop getting on TikTok using it as some kind of therapy. And stop looking to other women to tell you the truth. Because women are looking out for themselves and their own feelings and misery loves company until you make it move out. If you really want to know what time it is, ask a man. Go ask your dad. Go ask your brother. Go ask your uncle. Go ask a man that has no skin in the game when it comes to trying to be in a sexual type of relationship with you and you will get the truth. But instead, if you keep going on TikTok, letting these women give you this advice that is not beneficial to you, you will keep suffering. Some women probably advise you to leave that relationship. It's obvious that you still want to be in it. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments. I'm very curious to hear what you have to say about it because again, this is my opinion. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next one. Peace.